Good morning, I'm Dave Frankincense. We are continuing with today's top story. You will recall last week that we sent a field reporter, Alyssa, to be able to talk with a troop of royalty that were making camp in our town. What were they doing here? And what were they looking for? That's right, Dave. Apparently they are star watchers and were led here to Bethlehem by following the bright star in the sky. I know we've all seen it, but what does it mean? Some, including the star watchers, believe that it is a sign that the long-awaited Messiah has come. Unfortunately, we have not been able to confirm, nor can we deny that this is the case. After last week's broadcast, we were bombarded with messages and calls from viewers wanting us to follow the story to see if we could, in fact, track down the Messiah. Oh, sorry to interrupt, Missy, but we seem to have some breaking news. This just in. Our field reporter, Alyssa, has just advised that she may have an update. Over to you, Alyssa. Thanks, Dave. I am being told from a field outside of Bethlehem, a choir of angels simply appeared out of thin air and started singing. I heard some commotion and found a group of shepherds running into the town shouting. Wait, excuse me. Can you tell us what you saw? It was the craziest thing. We had just settled our sheep down for the night. They were kind of off, like they didn't want to bed down. It was, it was like they were super skittish, like they knew something major, major was about to happen. But no, I kept looking around for like a lion or a wolf or something. You can never be too careful up in these fields. I often sleep with one eye open, if you know what I mean. Anyway. All of a sudden, there was a blinding light! And we just fell down to the ground in fear! We had no idea what was happening! Rachel is so right. It was unbelievable. We thought we were in some kind of dream or something. It was ridiculous. We were terrified. I was shaking. We were just waiting for it all to stop. And then, all of a sudden, you're not gonna believe this. Seriously, you're not gonna believe this. One of those angels started talking directly to us. Yeah, he did. He said, do not be afraid. And I was like, well, too late for that. But anyways, then he said, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. We were like, seriously, did this just happen? I can't believe it. It was like, it was a joke or something. We thought for sure some guy was gonna jump out from behind one of our sheep over there yelling like, you're on cam the camera or something like that. But nobody did. Just then it got quiet and we thought maybe it's over. But suddenly the skies opened up with a shining flying beam, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to men whom his favor rests. I know it sounds crazy saying it out loud. So you're telling me that angels appeared out of nowhere and told you that they had good news of great joy, uh -huh. that the Messiah was born in a manger? Wow, this is crazy. I can't make this stuff up. No kidding, no kidding. We had no idea. Like we just didn't know, We'd, we had no idea what was going on and we were like, we're talking and we're like, let's decide on going into town and just checking it out. We gotta check it out and actually see if this angel, what it said, if it was true. We were like, we gotta go. You know us shepherds, we can't keep a secret. We gotta go out there and tell everybody the good news of great joy. Yeah, it's not every day that uh, a group of angels deliver such life altering news to a brood of lowly shepherds like us. So with all due respect, man, we really gotta get going back to Bethlehem to tell more people like now. Well, folks, you heard it here first. The ancient prophets may not have been wrong with their baby theory. Tonight in Bethlehem, a baby has been born, a savior of the world, according to the angels. It appears that the baby could undoubtedly change the course of history. Back to you in the studio, Dave and Missy. Well, this has been an unprecedented turn of events. Our producers are trying to gather additional details so that we can see what's going on. Whether or not we have to send more reporters over to Bethlehem to see if this supposed baby has been born. In the meantime, let's go to Norm in the studio for our call to worship. <laughs> 